Imagine grinding for years, building a fan base of over 10 million loyal followers, then one night your entire life comes crashing down, resulting in you losing everything, including your mind. FusiTube had to go through this exact same scenario, but he came out alive. Barely. He has mastered the secret sauce of going viral, sometimes for all the right things, and sometimes for all the wrong. We are here to share it all because Fusi doesn't hold back on sharing information and his story just took a recent twist. Yusuf Arakat, much better known as Fusi, was born January 22, 1990 in Fremont, California. He was raised by Muslim parents who were very strict and religious. This was both a blessing and a curse for Fusi as he would play into his religion later on for clicks, but mentally, he was fighting his own battles and was doing whatever he could do to get views. Hold my handprint. When I learned that 30 minutes of work could get me these numbers and pay me this much, I sold the soul. Fast money, quick money. Immediately sold my soul. He was coming up in the YouTube prank era where today it's more widely known, but back then not as much and that is the fact that these pranks were staged. Instead of having to spend days shooting footage, you can get all the same footage, if not better, in a fraction of the time. Nonetheless, it is still not easy to come up with ideas that are unique and have the potential to go viral. But it did seem easy to Fousey, but more on that in a bit. He first started his YouTube channel in March 2011, which one of his teachers told him that that would be the biggest mistake of his acting career, and turns out that couldn't be any further from the truth, as his second upload on the platform would go viral, titled Rebecca Black Dancing in Apple Store to Friday. He hit a trend, and that's when Fousey realized that he really can make this whole YouTube thing work out, and he stepped up his prank game in 2013, releasing the Yoga Pants prank. It's real, look, it's plump. It what? No, 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 you liked no, no, what you saw, no. bruh? What's up? Oh, man, what the f What? Oh, man, why the f you got on leggings? Dude? Why are you staring at my butt, dude? Shit, dude. Huh? What? You're, st you're staring at my butt? Hey, relax, dog. You were staring at it. Hey, you want to... Hey, what? You want to sock it? You want me to twerk? Hey, watch this. Watch this. You'll like this part. Right? Watch this. Watch this. Ready? Oh, man. <laughs> And although that video went on to do extremely well, it was nothing like the Spider-Man in real life prank and the Mortal Kombat elevator prank because those went on to get over 100 million views apiece. At this point, Fousey had more than doubled his channel size from these videos and he was quickly approaching 10 million subscribers. As the channel was thriving and everything from the outside looked great, Fousey was in a very dark place. In May of 2017, he released a video titled Dear YouTube where he opened up about his struggles with mental health. I isolated myself in my apartment every day. You know, there was a time where I lived next door to Lily, aka Superwoman, and I didn't even go knock on her door because I was so scared and isolated in my apartment. There was a time where I lived next to Rudy Mancuso and Logan Paul, but never knocked on their door, never asked them to hang out, never asked them to collab, because I was always so scared. If I move to another apartment right now, I'm gonna be the same scared, timid person and not allow myself a chance to grow. So what am I doing? I'm pushing myself out of my comfort zone. I'm putting myself on the street with nothing to my name and I'm going to live life day by day. Fousey's audience would greatly appreciate this side of him because he was showing who he really was and the majority of other prank channels, there was nothing shared beneath the pranks and the person doing them. Opening up and sharing his story with people is how Fousey still to this day likes to operate. It helps him get through everything and get it off his chest. But he would have a lot more to get off his chest after what transpired on July 15th, 2021. Fousey decided to invest over $1 million into a music festival called Hate Dies Love Arrives and Fousey had paid for all the artists and the entire venue when moments into the show a bomb threat got called in ending the show really before it even got started. Yeah Peter, police just packed up and the LAPD says the bomb threat turned out to be a false alarm, perhaps someone's idea of a joke. And take a look, right now employees are being allowed back up here, either way though it left a lot of disappointed fans. Sky 9 was over the scene of the Greek theater as bomb sniffing dogs went through the aisles. The crowd had come to see YouTube star Yusuf Arakat, whose YouTube channel, FusiTube, has more than a million subscribers. Police say about 6.15, they got a call from a person claiming to have planted an explosive device at the theater. The LAPD decided to clear out the venue just in case and brought in the bomb squad. 
I am sure that all the stress got to Fusi causing a manic episode after the incident. Luckily, this ended up being exactly what he needed at the time because he was able to get sober from all drugs and alcohol and still claims to be sober to this day. One thing about Fusi is although he makes mistakes, one, it is what happens when you're constantly in front of a camera, everything is put under a microscope, and two, he seems to always try to take each situation as an opportunity to grow and become a better person each day. After some time off, it was time for Fusi to make a comeback because he had a lot of people doubting that he would ever be able to come back from the Hate Dies Love Arrives Festival. And he did. But to this day, Fusi says this decision was a huge mistake. And that's YouTube boxing. It was a great way to distract people from the past and get Fusi back on the map. Fusi is an athlete. He would fight a lot of his mental battles through working out. So we could put all that same energy into training for a boxing match, and yeah, that's at least how it went in his head, but this is how it really went. But he recently found something that yet again he finds a way to go viral and bring in a ton of attention. That being live streaming on Twitch where he has brought in 20,000 subscribers in the first 19 days, giving him a massive start on the platform where he started doing subathons. Now we have talked on the channel before about the mental and physical exhaustion that streamers take on when they have a history like Fusi. It might not be the best move for him mentally, however sometimes you have to capitalize. Over half of his subscribers are from one single guy. But recently, Fusi's streaming career has taken a turn after an incident that occurred at an airport with a female which was a huge setback for Fusi, and he released a video titled I Messed Up, where Fusi opens up about the incident and decided it was best to check back into therapy. Like guys, I went 9 months not making a single dollar. I went 9 months not tweeting, not posting, nothing. Nobody saw me, nothing. And now all of a sudden you guys see what happens everywhere I go. It's a lot. It's a lot, especially when your mental health is like mine. And I let all the fame and the excitement get to the best of me. Um, I let it change me. Um, I looked at the mirror when I was taking a piss in the bathroom. <laughs> and I didn't like what I saw. Not only just the swollen eyes, puffy face, uh, white skin tone. I didn't like who I saw in my eyes. I really hope Fusi can get back on his feet and continue to fight because there has been talks that the streaming platform Kick is talking with Fusi on a huge streaming deal. If you enjoyed this video, check out one of these. I think you're going to be pretty satisfied. See you in the next one.